You have a teenager, and they've had a rough few years. First, they were arrested for shoplifting. It was an item of little value, only a misdemeanor. But then, your teen was with some friends who were smoking pot and driving way too fast. Your teen has promised they are turning over a new leaf and seem to be on the right track, doing better in school, coming home by curfew, and generally having a much better attitude. But you then get a call from the local police station saying that your son was with a group of kids who broke into a liquor store and stole beer. What do you do? Well, the first thing I do is go pull up the uh, GPS app I installed on my son's phone secretly and have a look at what he's been doing and confirm that he was, in fact, at the liquor store on the night that the police uh, seemed to think. Uh, mm. Of course, I get that all packaged up nice and neat to hand over to the police officers. Uh, but first, I go to a sporting goods store and I get a ski mask and a baseball bat. Mm. And then I wait until my son sneaks out of the house. And he's going to do some shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Chase him down. You know? Now, mind you, I'm just trying to scare him. But he's, mm -hmm. he's, he's with his buddies. They're goofing around. They're, they're drinking. They're doing bad stuff. I pull up next to their parked car where they're having some beers. Get out with mm -hmm. the ski mask and the baseball bat. And in a weird voice that would prevent my son from understanding that it was definitely me. And somehow I'm not in my car either. <laughs> I yell at them. <laughs> you break into my liquor store and you steal from me? <laughs> And I just fucking destroy the car with the baseball bat. And the whole time I hit it and I'm like, that's from the, that's from my store. You can't steal from me. You think you can steal from Two Toes Johnny? And I just fucking just destroy the shit out of this car, even though it's not my son's car. Just, oh, just. So these kids are freaked out. They're all grouped up. They're backing away as I destroy the car. As soon as I'm happy with the car, I turn at them with the baseball bat still raised. And I look at them and I'm like, you never fucking come in my store again. <laughs> and then I take the ski mask off and I go, Brandon, get in the car. We're going to the police station. And I take him to the police station and I give him the GPS information and he goes to jail probably. <laughs> Whose car did you just beat the shit out of? Was it your son's? One or of his stupid friends. <laughs> I don't oh. care if they know I did it. I don't give a shit.